So Knicks fans are not known to be the most patient fan base in the NBA. Sometimes this leads to Knicks fans exalting young guys to a status that is unfair to the young player. Sometimes we as Knicks fans put certain players on this pedestal of a savior or the guy that's going to lead us to the promised land before this guy can even find out who he is as a player. We've done it to young players in the past, and as a fan base, we will continue to do this. It's who we are as Knicks fans. With that said, over the years, Knicks fans' frustration with the development of Kevin Knox has been growing out of control to a point that some in the fan base are sour on a young player that we drafted, Kevin Knox, that we knew was a project. We knew right away on draft night that he was not going to be ready for at least two seasons. At least two. His college coach said it would take three to four seasons for him to be a solid NBA player. No biggie. It's one of those things, if you say four years, we can wait. We can wait four years for Kevin Knox. Or can we? No. So here's the thing with the, with the Kevin Knox. I offer you this. Kevin Knox showed promise early on. Sure, we heard that narrative a thousand times. If you're a Knicks fan, you've heard this this narrative. It's going to take three or four years. Yeah, his rookie year was promising. David Fisdale ruined him. You heard all these all these things before, but I offer you something different. I offer you this. Two things that will hurt any rookie or any veteran for that matter. The lack of systems for a young player to carve out a role or a niche hurt Kevin Knox. What type of offense did the Knicks run under David Fisdale? He tried to run a bunch of veteran stuff with a bunch of young, inexperienced guys. Was it fair? Was it fair to Fisdale? Was it fair to Knox? We don't care. We don't care because right now, as of right now, all of that is water under the bridge because Fisdale is gone and Knox is here. Right? But when you don't have an established system that you can learn from, from year to year, so that you can develop in, in a role it sets up to be a recipe for disaster, right? Here's the second thing. Young guys need veteran point guards to get them, to teach them the game, put them in position to score, show them where they need to be, know when to get them the ball and when not to. Well, Kevin Knox's point guards, since he's been here, have been named Emmanuel Moutier, Trey Burke, Frank Nilakina, Dennis Smith Jr., Alfred Payton, and Derrick Rose. Outside of Derrick Rose and, and this year the addition of Kimball Walker, those other guys do not run a good NBA system. They're not quality NBA point guards. We know this because they're no longer here. And most of them are barely in the league if they are if they are in the league. What I offer you is this. 
you will see a different Kevin Knox under Kimba Walker and Derrick Rawls because of the three things that I mentioned. A, an offensive system that you can learn and, and, and carve out your niche and develop a role. Two, some time in that system. And three, a point guard that can help you in that system find your spots and no one to find you find uh, find you when, when you are hot or or find you when you have the open shot. So Kevin Knox, in my opinion, is not going to be a bad NBA player. I think he'll be a decent NBA player, right? Just needs those three things in order to become a solid NBA player. 